Uh, yeah, I shouldn't have taken such a long walk in the park. It's late at night. I have to hurry home. I think someone's following me. Where did the handsome man go? I must find him and meet him. Oh, maybe he went into this cave. Let's see what's in here. Oh my god, I've become a zombie. Who would have thought there'd be monsters in here? That's not so bad, though. Now that I'm with my new friends, I'm sure I can catch that handsome boy and then he'll be mine. Ha 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 ha. I'm finally in my neighborhood. My friends must be asleep by now. It's time for me to go to bed. Whoa, is that blood? But why is there blood in Nico's house? Maybe something happened to him. Why are there no doors in his house? Did someone kick them in? And why is all the furniture in his house overturned? There's obviously been a fight. But who would attack Nico in the middle of the night? If there was a fight, so... And where's Nico now? Hey, Nico, are you here? Are you home? Can you hear me? The kitchen's a mess too. I don't get it. I don't think Nico decided to renovate and just got rid of the furniture. Oh my God, there are zombies. What are they doing in the backyard of Nico's house? All the caves are far away from our neighborhood. And when I went home, I didn't see any zombies. How did they get here? Oh no, it's Nico. I see who could have attacked him. This is just awful. I have to save Nico, but first I have to take on a whole bunch of zombies. Lucky I always have my sword with me. Now I can teach those filthy zombies a lesson. Come here, you miserable monsters. I'm gonna get you. How dare you attack my friend Nico and mess up his house. I'll beat each and every one of you. Come on, you green brain lovers. I'll take you all down. You can't beat me. Ha 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 ha. You may be three, but even with your superior numbers, you can't beat me. When I have a sword in my hand, monsters like you are no match for me. Ooh, I finally got through those zombies, but I can't relax. I still have to save Nico. Hey, Nico, are you alive? Can you talk? Oh no, he's not answering me. This is bad. If I can't help him, then I should get help from a doctor. Hello, doctor. I urgently need your help. Yeah, my friend has a problem. He is injured and seems to have lost consciousness. Please come quickly, only you can save him. Great, the doctor said he's on his way. Whoa, hello, I didn't think you'd be here so soon. I brought everything I need. I'm sure I can help your friend. Take me to him. Let's go to the backyard. He's lying there unconscious. Oh my God, that's a lot of blood. What the hell happened here? My friend was attacked by a mob of zombies. But don't worry, I've already defeated those zombies, but I couldn't help my friend. This is just awful. But don't worry, I'll save your friend. But I'll have to take him to the hospital. Okay, good luck to you. Thank you. I'm gonna need it. Hey, I hope the doctor can help Nico. He's the best doctor in town. But, uh, I gotta get home. I hope at least Zoe's house is okay. And it seems like she's doing fine. Looking through the windows, I can see that her furniture is fine. So there was no fight at her house. I don't want to disrupt my regimen. I didn't plan on having to fight in the middle of the night. I hope I can sleep after this. Especially I'm worried about where the zombies could have come from in our neighborhood. They couldn't have come by themselves. But who would think of helping a zombie? Ouch, how much my head hurts. Stop, where am I? Oh my God, why am I tied up? Who would chain me to the floor and who would bring me to this place when I was asleep? I don't like it. I gotta get out of here. I'm scared to be here. Ha ha ha, I see my fiance is awake. What, your fiance? Who are you? Is it that you brought me here and chained me up? Yeah, I did it. Now that I'm a zombie, no one can stop me from taking you in. And pretty soon, other zombies will marry us. And you'll be king of the zombies. Well, I'll be queen of the zombies. What? This is crazy. I have to get out of here as fast as I can. I can't marry her. I don't even know her. Besides, she's a zombie. I can't marry a zombie. I'm used to fighting zombies, not kissing them. And I'll say it again. Where am I? What is this place? Why is there an engagement party in this basement? Although she may have brought the engagement altar here. What? Zombies again? Yeah, well, I'm surprised. I, it was obvious she wouldn't have left me here alone. She must have directed the zombies I met at Nico's house, but zombies aren't very smart, so they must have mistaken Nico's house for my house. All right. Lucky that girl didn't think to search me and take my sword. So now I can get out of this place easily. I recognize this house, by the way. This is the abandoned house from our neighborhood. And so, I gotta go before she comes back. What, more zombies? I thought I'd beaten every zombie in here. Okay, there's only one zombie. That won't be a problem. If I can handle that crowd, I can handle this zombie. What, another zombie? 
How many more of you are there? I'm sick of fighting them. Again? Are you kidding me? How many times? I'm so sick of this. Go away, you filthy monsters. Hey, how did you get out? Oh, no. But why is this happening to me? Stop, pretty boy. You can't run away from me. I'll catch up with you and you'll be my husband. Woo, I think I finally got away from that zombie girl. I ran so long, I ended up at Mikey's house. I think I'm gonna go over to his house to hide. Uh, I hope Mikey's awake right now. Mikey, open up. It's me, JJ. It's no time to sleep. Good night, JJ. What's wrong? Why'd you wake me up so late? I have a serious problem. Nico was attacked by a mob of zombies, but I saved him. But I can't save myself. I'm being chased by a zombie girl who wants me to marry her, but I can't marry a zombie. That's why I need your help. Yeah, not the usual situation. It's never happened before. But if she's a zombie girl, she can be cured, and then she'll be a normal girl. Yeah, but how do we cure her and make her human again? I think I have an idea how to do it. You and I are going to have to go to the nearest hospital and find a cure for the zombie virus. Hmm, <laughs> sounds good. This should work. But something tells me it'll be extremely dangerous. So I'll put on my armor. It'll be bad if I get bitten by zombies, too. Do you have any armor for me? Of course! I always keep two sets of armor, so you don't have to worry. With such a cool armor, no zombie will bite you. Even if they try to bite you, they'd rather break their teeth than hurt you. Nice! I love it. That armor looks powerful. Then let's not stall for time and let's go to the hospital and find a cure for your girlfriend. What? That's not my girlfriend. I don't even know who she is. I first saw her in the basement after she kidnapped me. Wow! How romantic! You guys had a great date! That's not funny, Mikey. <laughs> Great! We were able to get to this hospital pretty quickly. Yeah, it's the closest hospital to us. I hope they have the right medicine. Of course there'll be a cure. Look at the size of this hospital. I'm sure there's a cure for every disease in the world. And we're gonna find a cure for this zombie mob? We already have a cure for these zombies. It's our swords. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Nothing fights monsters like our swords. Yeah, let's go, JJ. Let's show those ugly monsters the have come to the wrong hospital! This time, and even more than before, when I had to fight them. I hope they can't overwhelm us with numbers. But now you have armor and your trusty friend Mikey. So don't worry, Jay. Even if we're attacked by a thousand of these zombies, we can still handle them. We've had to fight worse monsters, and even when we were attacked by a mob... Yeah, you're right, Mikey. We're doing great. Now that the zombies are gone, we can move on. But where do we go? Where do we even keep the medicine we need? Well, I think we should find a warehouse at the hospital. That's where they usually keep all the drugs. This place looks like a restroom. Maybe this is where we can find the cure. Um, Mikey, I don't think there's any valuable medications in the break room. But there are drawers. Maybe they have what we're looking for. Well, from what we're seeing here, there's nothing here but paperwork for us. Yeah, so we're gonna have to keep walking through this huge hospital and find the warehouse. Well, we don't have a choice. Whoa, what's that, Jay? These are just plain x-rays. Oh my god, what the hell is that? I think he's the one who could really hurt us. Then let's not let him do that. Even if he's a huge and strong mutant zombie, we can still defeat him. I agree, let's show him who's boss. Super, we did it, Mikey. Hooray! Now no one can stop us from finding a cure. Yeah, especially since we're already in the warehouse. All that's left is to figure out where the cure for the zombie virus is. Yes, I found it, Mikey. We have the cure for the zombie virus. Super! Then it's time to get out of this hospital and catch that zombie girl. Yeah, we're finally gonna get it over with. Here we are, Mikey. Is this the house she locked you in after she kidnapped you? Yeah, and now we have to make some kind of trap to catch her. Well, that won't be a problem. Hold this fake grass. You'll need it because I'm planning on making a little hole. Then you cover that hole with the fake grass I gave you. And then when she sees us and runs towards us, she'll fall into the hole. And then I can use our potion on her because she'll be completely helpless in the pit. Yeah, then she can't bite us and she can't get out on her own. Well, let's hope she doesn't notice this huge patch of grass in the middle of the asphalt. She won't notice. She's a zombie now, so she's not very smart. Well, let's hope so. Handsome, you came back to me. What? How come there's a hole? Hey, Handsome, get me out of here. <laughs> no problem. I'll get you out, but first I'll make you human again. Ouch! What's that? Hooray! 
Hooray, JJ, we did it. She's human again. I think it's safe to let her out of the pit now. Yeah, I'm gonna give her a pass now. Well, lady, you're all right now. Oh my God, please forgive me. I really didn't mean to hurt you. It's just that when I saw you, I really liked you. So I decided to meet you. But when I was chasing you, zombies attacked me and infected me. Well, you know, you look pretty cute, so I don't mind getting to know you better. But it's the middle of the night, and I think we're all very tired. So let's go home, and tomorrow we can discuss everything. Yes, after such an adventure, we all need a rest. And tomorrow you can go on a date, but please this time without zombies. Ha ha ha, okay.